I'm Mandy. Today I'm going to be reviewing a CNC machining uh, demo cut video. Maybe some of you are already expert in CNC machining, but if you're not, don't worry. My friend Ray Hong is already here with me today. Hi. And he knows a lot about CNC machines, so I'll get him to explain some of the things. Uh, I'll try my best. So are you guys ready? Yes sir. Let's watch the video. Okay, so the title says aluminium dry cut. Does that mean they are not using a uh, coolant to cut this? But I thought that you should always use coolant when cutting the aluminium. Yeah, that's true. Compared to other metals, aluminium is a lot softer mm. and if you're machining and there's a lot of heat, then it could probably melt and get stuck to the cutting tool. So that's why it's always recommended to use coolant when machining uh, aluminium. But I'm not sure why they're not using coolant. So just keep watching and find out what happens. Alright. And they say they are also using a vacuum chuck. What's so special about a vacuum chuck uh, and why do you think they are using it in this application? Yeah, with a vacuum chuck, it allows you to clamp a workpiece that you normally couldn't clamp with a regular vice, especially a workpiece like this. Not only is it much larger and thinner, but it's also made of aluminium. So you could probably warp or distort when you're clamping. Ah, I see. So the vacuum chuck actually helps to them to clamp the workpiece to prevent warping or distortion from hand. Exactly, exactly. Mm, look at those chips flying. This is actually a really good thing so that the chips don't scratch the surface and get stuck with the tools. Well, by the way, uh, Wei Hong, do you know if 15,000 millimeters per minute uh, is the average speed for most CNC machines? Oh, no, definitely not. So most machines, you get about 10,000 millimeters per minute for the cutting speed. and Sometimes the controllers are not fast enough to process that G code, so you get maybe about 8,000 or 6,000 millimeters per minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so that's why they can cut without coolant since it's not generating heat. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, yeah, and also, do you think they can also go faster because the depth of the cut isn't that deep? Yeah, that's definitely a big part of it. Because if the tool is too long and you're machining too fast, then you have a chance of breaking the tool. Mm -hmm. Mmm, I see. Actually, don't you just feel so relaxed while watching this CNC videos? Yeah, I think it's just a pause. Hey, don't leave me alone. <laughs> okay, okay. Since you asked already. <laughs> oh, looks like the roughing process is done and now they are chamfering to remove any rough or sharp edges. Well, usually the roughing stage is where you can save the most time by machining mm -hmm. faster because it doesn't have to be so accurate. But for chamfering and finishing process, you will want to go a lot slower since you are machining the final layer of the material, right? Yeah, now they're using a face glue just to remove that top layer and since it's a bigger tool, it helps you save time as well. Okay, I think the part is almost done since they are doing the finishing now. So as I mentioned earlier, you can see the speed is also quite slow. This is so that there's less vibration and because the machine positioning is more accurate when it moves slowly, right? Mm -hmm. But you also can't move too slowly, otherwise you can't cut anything. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to find the right balance between. Yeah. Wow, the surface finish looks really good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. They can achieve this because the machine doesn't generate heat and even without coolant, the part doesn't walk. Yeah, good job guys. It was really interesting to see how you guys did this and I really thanks Wei Hong for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Just let me know when you're doing another review and I'll join you. Sure, and see you guys soon. Bye. -bye.